Hey everyone, Gaijin Goomba here, and wow, I don't know how I keep letting myself do this, but I keep getting behind in a lot of my mailbox episodes. I guess it's one part me staying busy, another part you guys giving me stuff constantly, which I truly appreciate. So I just wanted to highlight some of the stuff that y'all sent me, and, and basically just show my gratitude for it. So first up, Pedro Perez. I can't thank you enough, man. <laughs> <laughs> for sending me this. Okay, this guy sent me a PSP. Now, for those of you that have been a fan of me for a long time, you know that I've been wanting a PSP for a while because I miss playing the old PSP games that I played in Japan. And, dude, you have made my day with that. Uh, it feels so good to go back and, and play through some of my old games. Uh, Gun vs. Gundam, Basada. I recently picked up Mega Man Powered Up, and I'm loving that game, so thank you so much for that. Uh, speaking of cool things, Aaron, a.k.a. Shonen Shinobi, sent Aki and myself two really, really cool custom hats. Uh, I know she wears that all the time. The hat's a little tight on me, but that's just because I got a big giant head, so don't worry about it. Um, but thank you so much. It's so cool. Uh, another one, this is kind of a really, really big ding-dong deal here. But Clay Entertainment, the people behind Mark of the Ninja, Don't Starve, Shank, uh, ever since I put out that ninja video, uh, they've contacted me, they've been thanking me, um, and they sent me this. Uh, this is a little statue of the Mark Ninja with all of their signatures on it. You guys are the best, um, with, 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 without, without you guys in the indie crew, we, we YouTubers, god, it would be so much harder, and, and you guys are so supportive of what we do, and, uh, we support you guys right back, so thank you so much, everyone, and special thanks to Corey of Clay Entertainment for helping making all that happen. Next up is this cute little plushie, uh, made by Stacy in Canada. Now, a lot of people have been asking me still to this day, are you ever gonna make plushies of your characters? I really want one. Unfortunately, that's a multi-thousand dollar investment that I can't make right now, maybe sometime down the road, but I've talked with Stacy, and she's more than happy to make plushies for people that would like to buy some. I don't quite know what her prices would be, but I think it's like 20, 30, maybe 40. Uh, I'm not sure. But I will put up her contact information that she allows me to give to you all, and uh, y'all can take it from there. It's it's very good quality, it's super adorable, and I highly suggest uh, buying anything that she makes handmade. It's really, really good. Uh, next up is a shirt sent by Philip of Radio Nintendo. I don't know if you guys remember or not, it was a little while back. Uh, I did an interview uh, on Radio Nintendo, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing it, and so this was just a thank you from Philip, and thank you right back, man. I had a lot of fun. Next up is a picture and a letter from Revenge22360. I thought this was absolutely adorable. This is going straight in my scrapbook. So uh, thanks for that, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, the next letter comes from Origami1105. Um, super, super cute picture. Uh, to answer your question uh, of what program do I use to make my videos, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, I'd suggest it, but uh, some people are into Sony Vegas, but whatever. Um, absolutely love the little origami. It's it's so cute. Again, going right into the scrapbook. Uh a regular here on the mailbox, Green Yoshi Lover, sent us these really, really cute loom bands. Um, I'm not sure where Aki has hers, but these were mine. Um, and, and they're just super, super cute. Thank you so much. I, I love getting stuff from you. Uh, this next one, if you follow me on Twitter or on DeviantArt, uh, you've seen this already, but this is a pixel cutter replica uh, done by this guy, Manny. And, 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 man, you've been super awesome. He, he's been so awesome. Uh, he had it built. He sent it to me. But FedEx freaking screwed it up. They, they, they broke off one of the little D-pad parts. They didn't put the part back. They lost the letter. They reboxed it. They screwed it all up. But Manny was super, super cool. Uh, sent me some new paint, uh, and, and some, uh, some wood glue, a new piece. And it's just, it looks good as new. And just thank you so much for that, Manny. It's, it's so freaking awesome. I've wanted something like this for a while. He actually is putting together a YouTube channel of, uh, making wooden and I think some metal replicas of, uh, video game weapons. Uh, so, I'm gonna put up a link to that in the description. It's super, super cool. I highly suggest you guys check this out. He does some really fantastic work. Next up is Patrick, aka Normal Bear, with a letter and some concept art. Um, to respond to your letter, all I can really say is you really do gotta start somewhere and then work up. Even if you're, you're using low-budgeted stuff or if you're using Windows Movie Maker, you gotta start somewhere. And as long as you keep at it, you'll eventually get somewhere with it. Uh, like my dad always says, Busy people get lucky, and I really believe that. Next up is Mackenzie, who sent me a letter, a couple of super cute images, and a cool $5. I appreciate that a whole heck of a lot going right in the scrapbook. Thanks so much. Another regular, Ryuji, with a letter and a question. Um, to answer your question, <laughs> well, one of them, because some of them I can't answer. But uh, as for how old I am, I am very, very, very close to 30 years old, believe that or not. So thanks again, Ryuji. I hope to hear from you again. Uh, this one is a letter and other images from Logan. 
Uh, I just wanted to say in response to your letter, you are very welcome for, for everything. And thank you for your help. Um, I'm referencing my Patreon, which I've still got going on, where you guys can donate to me on a monthly basis, and I've got some pretty cool reward tiers. I'll put a link to, of that in the description as well. I hope you guys check it out. Next up is a letter from Gregory, and in response to your letter, Gregory, I will try to look at Blaze Blue. I'm a little unfamiliar with that series, but I'll give it a crack. Um, to answer your other question, yes, Aki actually does have sisters. Uh, she has two older sisters, in fact, but, but they're pretty crazy, and they're also married. Uh, this one, I don't know how I missed this, so I apologize ahead of time. Um, but uh, Jade sent uh, this lovely letter and very, very, very lovely Christmas picture going straight in the scrapbook. Uh, I thought it was absolutely cute. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, speaking of cute pictures, here's one from Kayla. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Again, super, super cute. I love it. Thank you so much. Uh, this other one is from the Norwegian Koopa. In response to what you asked, uh, I can't have a whole lot of regular guests on the show, uh, which is unfortunate, but uh, I'm always looking for help, and uh, you can catch me in my email or social media, anywhere you want to contact me, you can. Uh, I'll probably need the help uh, when it comes to Norse myth mythology and, and old Norse language, things like that. I'm not so good at it, so I could probably use the help. Um, but uh, any help would be appreciated, and this also extends to the final letter that I have here from Odin's Lost Eye. Seriously, guys, uh, if, if I get stuck in a rut, if I get stuck on something, I'll usually post on Twitter more often than not that, hey, I could use some help on something, can you guys give me a hand? So that's really the place to look uh, if you're wanting to offer help and I get stuck. So, And if there's something that you all would like to send to me, uh, you can send it to Gaijin Goomba, P.O. Box 581, Fayetteville, Arkansas, 72702, 0581. And this can be anything. It can be a picture, a letter, or a physical thing. I'm okay with whatever. I just love fan mail of any kind. Thanks again, guys. That's all I've got for mail, but uh, there was one thing I wanted to showcase, because I thought this was very cool. Uh, at the Gaijin Goomba DeviantArt Fan Club, we had a quick little contest of having all of the different Game Exchange characters be mech-themed. Either they were mechs themselves, or they were put into mechs uh, in light of Titanfall, and just kind of a celebration of all the new mech games that had come out recently. Um, very, very good, very spectacular, but uh, these were some of my top favorites. So without further ado, here we go. Again, thank you so much, guys, uh, at the DeviantArt Fan Club. You guys do phenomenal work. Uh, it's so encouraging when uh, I log on and I see someone's made new fan art. It just it really tickles me. So, speaking of art contest, starting in June, we're going to be having a summer-themed contest where uh, the objective is to put any of the Game Exchange characters in summertime themes, whether it be on the peach in swimsuits and bikinis, or having ice cream, or, or you know, whatever. Just something involving summertime fun. And uh, more information on that will be coming in the next couple of weeks uh, on the DeviantArt Fan Club page. I'll have uh, specifications listed and rewards listed, so I hope you guys will enjoy that, and I hope you'll take part. So, thank you so much, guys, for all of your submissions from just from from mail to DeviantArt to everything. I, it, I appreciate it so much. It really does help me keep going uh, to make more and more content for you guys. So, thank you again. Uh, but until next time, this is Gaijin Goomba signing out.